Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Plami and in this episode of Cartoon Reactions I'm gonna be continuing my reactions to the Full Metal Alchemist, the 2003 series. Currently we are on episode 7, Night of the Chimera's Cry and episode 8, The Philosopher's Stone. Man, we're getting that episode that early. Interesting, I wonder if we're actually gonna see the Philosopher's Stone or something like that. But it's definitely gonna be an episode about the Philosopher's Stone so I'm pretty excited about that one. Anyway, as I said in the last video, I just want to reiterate, I'm sorry that it took so long into uh, recording these videos and uploading them and everything. Um, the reasons why I took it took me so long is, as I said in the last video, because um, it's just a little bit too much of a pain in the ass for these videos to do uh, and to do them frequently because it takes so long to record them, only for like 7 minutes of content that I can actually put in the video and then it takes even more time to edit them, so it just becomes too much effort for probably a reasonable amount of payoff because I do get a lot of videos in these uh, for these cartoon reactions, pretty much I get the most of my views on my YouTube channel from these videos, but it's just such a pain in the ass that I just end up procrastinating no matter what. Even if I don't want to, if I even if I genuinely enjoy these reactions, it just always ends up in procrastination. So I'm sorry I take so long. I'm gonna try not to take as long next time, but most likely for at least the next two weeks, I'll be focusing on doing different kinds of videos because there have been some things that I really wanna do that are not cartoon reactions. But yeah, you probably don't care about that, so let's get into the reaction straight off uh, with the first episode, Night of Chimera's Cry, in 3, 2, 1. You should take this with you. <sighs> you know, I was picturing a more poignant ceremony, trumpets or something. Sure, Edward. Congrats, you're a dog of the military now. Lieutenant Havoc, take him home. Yes, sir. Did he have a watch in like the first episode? Why is he getting another one? He doesn't need it. Nina. Wait, what is with this guy? I, I assume that this episode is gonna have something to do with a chimera because that's the name of the episode. But I, I hope they don't make this guy a bad guy or something. And yeah, this is definitely part of the intro. I, I'm sure of that at this point. Your tenant's becoming a star. Who would have thought that a 12-year-old could actually pass the exam, right? He is a prodigy. He looks older than 12, though. Maybe 14 or 15, but definitely not 12. We're going to have a feast. What do you say? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Would you like to join us? Lieutenant? I always thought that he was Sorry, older no when I was little. So? Oh, Mr. Tucker, Maybe we're gonna see him grow the Lieutenant over time, but I don't know. Along. Your assessment day is coming up. He says he's looking forward to it. Yes, I'm sure that he is. Yeah, there's something it's about that chimera that we're gonna find out in this episode. I'm sure of it. If I don't submit meaningful findings for my research each year, they'll revoke my certification as a state alchemist. I know. Why don't you make another talk in Chimera? Yeah, and we'll be around to see it this time. Because he probably didn't well, do it the first time, or fucked it up in some I way. I promise. I'll let you all see the result. Look at him, General, huh? Surely you've heard of him. The Iron Blood Alchemist? He's the authority on adapting Iron alchemy. Blood Alchemist. Does every alchemist have a if nickname? His name was attached. It must be some military secret. This is getting interesting. It is. It is indeed. I'm telling you, you can't go in. This branch is for military use only. Stop! If you want access, you've got to get a pass. I was told this was the only place to find out. <sighs> Stop! What now? Sorry. Pass the test like everyone else. <clears throat> What the hell is... what? Hey! Come back! He's from the opening credits, but who is he? Hmm. 
My brother, what is this? Why did you mark me so? This vile sign. What do you want me to do? What? I know that Chimera he fashioned got him into the alchemy program. First one ever that could speak the human language. You're sure it was real? Definitely, but it only spoke once. It said, I want to die. Okay. That's not, that's so nice to hear. So, um, he definitely used his wife for that chimera. I bet. I bet. That's exactly what happened. And I think the military maybe also knows, but I'm not sure on that one. I mean, I don't expect anything... Oh my... That is horrifying. It's a perfect version. A chimera that knows the human tongue. No! Listen, dear. That's your friend Edward. Look. No! Friends. Yes, exactly. No! That's very good. That's very good. Unbelievable! It really can't talk. <sighs> no! I have no problem getting the funding now. I can't believe I didn't see it. The other one was too old to adapt. No! the first time you made one of these human-speaking chimeras. I thought I told you. It's been two years now. And when exactly did your wife leave you? You're two dead. Years ago, You're one... fucking dead, asshole. You're so dead. Nina wrote, did any of them ever reach her? I can't believe he did that. Nina? Tell me this. Where have Alexander and Nina gone to? <laughs> I Fuck you, you Jack should die. Too damn perceptive. Kill him. Uh, brother! This guy used his own wife, Al! Uh, this time? His daughter! And his dog! He transmuted them into that thing! Uh, An easy process when you use people, right? Why are you getting so upset, Edward? It's the nature of scientific progress, animal testing, experimentation, trial, and You're a piece of shit. You deserve to die, die, you motherfucker. You you I'm not destroyed that kid, you monster. fucking piece of shit. That was your own family, damn it! You've been toying with people's lives! Toying with lives? <laughs> what? Like your arm and leg there? Or your brother's body? Or trying to bring your mother back? That's oh, you're so it. dead. You really you're, so you're so dead. Me, do you, Ed? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Why, Mr. Tucker? The whole point was to pass the assessment and continue your way of life. But now your family's gone. What life is left? That's the funny thing. I didn't have a reason. I fully understood no matter what I did, my life would be ruined. I could either do it with the science or without. And so I chose science to see if I could. This is not science. Kind of when you have the power to do something, it's this hard is not wrong. to try. Isn't that what we agreed on, Ed? Aren't we so much alike? <laughs> no! Sure. Part of me did it for respect and this house, just as you partly did it for your mother. But there's more. You're desperate to put your mind to use, Ed. To see what you're capable of, to put the world under your fingers. That's the essence of alchemy. You did it for knowledge, control. Above all, you did it just to prove you can. Kill him! You're wrong. Kill him, kill him! He deserves to die for this. I'm not like you! I'm not! Not! I'm not! Brother, you'll kill him! Kill him!
That, that is so incredibly fucked up. You poor thing. You're a sin against nature and your body is in so much pain. Oh, merciful God who shapes us all. Please return these scarred souls to your unending room. What, are, what is he doing to them? Are you fucking kidding me? What an episode. That was that was hell of an episode. It, it's so fucked up. Like what the fuck was this? I don't even know where to begin. I wish I I was more emotional because this is so fucked up I wanted to cry. I, I, I seriously wanted to cry. I feel like if it had the right music, I probably would have uh, cried because I feel like uh, music in scenes is what gets me the most uh, to cry whenever I'm watching something. But this was so fucked up. Like, oh my God, this, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless about how fucked up that is. Like, if this is what we're getting so early in this show, what fucked up shit are we gonna get going forward? Like, how could you do that to your dog and your daughter? That's so fucked up. And they, they, they get killed as well. Like, what? Oh, Jesus. That's so fucked up. That's just... This is so fucked up. It's so wrong. Like, I, I get a good reaction whenever I think about the fact that he turned his daughter and his dog into some monstrosity. Like... That's so fucked up. I think that's the only thing I can say about this episode. It's so fucked up. But I did call it right, I guess. Because I had the suspicion... I mean, he had a certain reaction with the chimera even in the previous video. That I kind of sus suspected there was something about it. And I did call it that he used his wife for the chimera last year. But fucking fuck. It just gets me every time I think about it. It's so fucking wrong. It's so fucking wrong. It's so wrong. I genuinely wish I was able to cry at this scene because I really, really want to. It, it, it's genuinely fucked me up so hard, but I feel like because I mean, I don't know why, but I feel like maybe it's because I've been so depressed. Like, even when I'm not really moping around, I feel kind of depressed. And I feel like my emotions are so uh, sterile. Like, I'm not really that emotional for some reason. Even though I want to be, but I feel like some something is preventing me from being emotional. I really want to cry. This is making me want to cry. I want, I have the need to have that release of emotion, but I, I, I just can't, I don't know. That's so, so, so fucked up. 
It's by far the most fucked up thing this show has done. And to all those people who have seen Fullmetal Alchemist uh, Brotherhood, if this scene is not in that series, and don't tell me whether it is or it isn't, because at some point far in the future I might end up reacting to it, but if this scene is not in that series, how can you fucking tell me that Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood is the better series? I think people just prefer it because it's newer and because it was released in the age of the internet when it was pretty popular so people could discuss it online and stuff. I mean, I don't know, I haven't seen it so I can't say for sure, but just like with TMNT 2012 being preferred over the 2003 series where I feel like the 2003 series is the better show overall because it's more realistic, uh, the characters are more mature. Damn, it's just so fucked up. It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. I know I've said it like 20 times, but it's so fucked up. Like, and, and this episode not only has the girl, the girl. No, no wonder they were making us like her so much and make her so childlike and adorable for the last few episodes only to do this. That was perfect writing. That's amazing writing. But not only did the girl get turned into this monstrosity, she dies! She dies in this brutal way! I wanted to fucking cry just like Edward there, but because of my student emotions, I can't. I wish I could. And maybe if I wasn't doing these videos, maybe if I was watching it on my own, maybe I would have been more emotional, but I don't know. I wish I could experience more emotions like that. Because I remember... Um, when I was very, very young, like one of my earliest memories is uh, actually having like a mental breakdown, so to speak, because I was watching some movie about animals and uh, I think a panda or a bear or something ended up getting killed and I ended up crying like I've never cried ever since. I, I remember having those kind of episodes uh, when I was little where I would get overly emotional and cry uncontrollably, which I think is um, Because I have Asperger and that is the biggest reason why I believe I have Asperger even though I haven't been uh, properly diagnosed because I don't have the money first and foremost second. Uh, I don't want to be um, Discriminated because of that. I don't want to uh, people to think that there's something wrong with me just because I have Asperger. But yeah, I wish I could cry like that right now because this is so incredibly fucked up that I kind of don't even want to keep watching. It's just, it's killed my, it's killed my mood for the rest of the evening. Like what the hell? I think you can, you can even see how much this has impacted me by how much I've been talking about this episode. It's been, what, eight, eight ten minutes? Fucking hell. And we still don't know what's gonna happen with... with that fucking big mustache guy. I hope he dies. I hope he gets beaten to a pulp and dies. Fuck him and fuck the father of that girl. He deserves to burn in hell. That's the most fucked up shit I've ever seen. Holy shit. I don't even know what to rate this episode if I gotta be honest. I, I kinda wanna give it a 10 out of 10 because it was such a brutal and gruesome and fucked up episode but again i don't want to blow my load too early but so far considering how good it is and how much better it is because we also had those uh, scenes early in the episode with edward uh being reminded of his mom that was also very emotional and i like how it was done with him uh, with his face getting even more and more scared 
uh, as he was seeing the body of the mother. I'm honestly gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. It was an amazing episode. I love it. It's the best episode by far. But I do really like how to enjoy these episodes, you have to have watched the previous ones. You have to. Otherwise, it wouldn't hit as hard. Because, like, for the last two episodes, I believe, or at least. I mean, this is the second episode, I believe, with the girl. Um, if we hadn't had a little bit more of a connection to her from the previous episode, um, I feel like maybe it wouldn't have hit as hard, because it's like, she's been like a two or three episode character, so now it hits harder, but... God damn, it's so fucked up! I can't wait to see some other people's reactions to this episode, because holy shit! Yeah, 10 out of 10. I guess let's get into the next episode and see where the plot's going to go from here, because that was incredibly fucked up. In 3, 2, 1. If the devil really does interfere in this world, we've seen his work tonight. The devil's work, huh? We state alchemists are human artillery they roll out if nothing else works. And when the military calls, it's our duty to respond regardless of how grotesque the scenario. To serve, we have to distance ourselves from emotional attachments. In that way, we're not so different from Tucker. With respect, that's the reason I'm an adult. But those children are still just... <laughs> Brother, brother, the major. There's no use, kid. You can't go around trying to bring every living creature that dies on you back to life, Edward. It's not possible and it's not healthy. Anyway, who'd you be helping by bringing back a malformed chimera? It's an ugly world out there. And from here on out, it's only going to get uglier on the path you I'm incredibly depressed after this episode. Get on with your life. Get on with my life? There's a reason you became a state alchemist, right, Ed? Can't you really afford to get distracted by every little lost cause? Then fuck that Great. fucker who... So who tried to take her away! And it's fuck that cool. fucker who turned it into this! It's up to the investigations department now. Why so glum, Elric? This job's a little more real than I bargained on. I think I just need something to take my mind off this whole mess. So, uh... What's this assignment you've got for me? Here you go. Your orders are to go through and organize all of this stuff. You should familiarize yourself with all the results of Tucker's experiments. So you want me to take over that maniac's research? True, he might have gone about it the wrong way, but some of his findings could be of great use to the military. Why don't you let Good job taking his mind out of it, you morons! You can't. His guilt was so obvious that the higher-ups decided to forego the embarrassment of a trial and skip straight to the execution. Good! Good! So they covered it up! How could they? You of course they covered it up! That's what the military does! See, that's Fuck the first law of state alchemy, Ed. I hope that guy gets killed by Edward down the line. Cause I'm... It's probably not gonna happen, but like he deserves to die so much. Hey, they meet again. It's you. You were outside the library. Tell me, if you've got access to the library in Central, then that must make you a state alchemist. Well, I was, yeah. But that's all behind me now. Really? You're better off. Because if you were still a state alchemist, this arm would destroy you. What is with his arm? I don't want to know that. And I personally don't blame him for what he did. I don't think I Nina was to going to be able to be saved, so he put her out of her misery. Basically. Surprise. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she could have been saved. I don't know. I don't know how bad of a guy this guy would be. Not too much. A car entering and exiting the city. There must be some sort of blind spot you're missing here. A car that can hide bodies, or... Or maybe it's all been the work of an alchemist. 
<laughs> now you must are not cold-blooded murderers. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you Edward Elric? Who's asking? There's a visitor here to see you, waiting out We've seen a couple of alchemists that visitor. are pretty fucked up, so... Are you sure about that, Ed? I'm afraid that would make it a bit hard to drive. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this your truck? It sure is. I uh, use it to make deliveries. Uh-oh. No. No. Please, no. No. It really is amazing. No. Would you like to take a look inside? No. Really? No. Thank you so much. No, she, she, she's, she's the... She's the killer. She's the killer. That's odd. And I, totally I hope this is not offensive, especially considering that I consider myself non-binary, but What's up, I'm Howard? not sure that she's even a she. Although maybe I'll be corrected. I don't know. My hero awakes. Why, you? <laughs> Word on the playground is you can transmute without a circle just using your hands. So to be safe. <laughs> Please let me introduce myself. My name is Told you is fucking called it. Man, guilty as charged, and to reward you for making it this far, we have a special guest. I I fucking knew it. Also, fuck this show. It's so fucked up. How did this show air on TV? Since she enjoys taking things apart, I thought I'd do this. Even anime is not this dark nowadays, I feel like. Just might get to see what makes her tick. You sick. Why Especially you like doing this? the mainstream Why? kind, not the weird, gruesome ones, the mainstream <laughs> kind. I suppose it's and definitely I not Western cartoons. The first person I killed was my wife. If American soccer moms so saw this cartoon, they would fucking would freak the fuck out. <laughs> That's a very bad idea. Oh, I guess that's what's the, that was a metal leg, so that's fine. Does that hurt every time? I mean, I guess what makes sense that it would. Stop him! For fuck's sake, these people deserve to die. Are you hurt? I thought it was gonna kill me. I honestly thought I was gonna die. I was so scared. So scared. Man, poor Edward, he's been through shit these last two episodes. I'll obey all your orders, sir. But as long as I serve, I'd like to receive all information on the Philosopher's Stone. And then whenever I've finished all my other duties, you have to permit me to search for it. People will question your motives. You realize what will happen if the state learns about your human transmutation. Al will be hauled off to some lab as a precious sample. Well, I can keep that in my back pocket to make sure you behave. Fine. But you report to me everything you uncover about the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, and I almost forgot. You've been issued your official state title by the Fuhrer. It's quite ironic, actually. He's got a good sense of humor. He's called a full metal alchemist. We give the name Full Metal to the Edward Elric. And the name of Fuhrer King Bradley. Jesus, these last two episodes have been heavy. <laughs> I mean, the last one was a little heavier than this one, but this one was still plenty fucked up. Man, I did not realize how fucking fucked up this show is. And I know I'm saying a lot of fuck in these videos, but I think I'm justified at this point. Like, I, I don't mind swearing, but I do try to restrict myself at least a little. But with this show, like... Saying fuck is the least of the problems 
<laughs> is the least one of the problems with this show is how genuinely screwed up in the head it is. And I watched this as a kid? And they aired this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> like seriously, how did this pass? There's blood, there's mutilation, there's fucked up shit like turning little girls into animals and killing them. Like, how did this air on TV? This is the most brutal cartoon for kids. This is for kids that, that has ever aired. Like, what? Like, I know that there is, especially nowadays with streaming services and everything, there's more mature cartoons, like, specifically intended for adults, like the the new Invincible uh, uh, cartoon, which is based on Robert, Robert Kirkman, creator of The Walking Dead, uh, comic book Invincible. And I'm gonna be watching it and most likely reviewing it, but probably not gonna react to it. Although, I guess we can do that, because I don't mind reacting to um to cartoons because they take about like 20 minutes and i react to it and upload it for tv shows the reason why i don't react to it because it's already taking a long time to record and edit uh the cartoon reactions if it's longer than 30 minutes i just don't really feel like it i'll only be reacting to live action shows that are less than 30 minutes for everything else i'll be doing just reviews because I also want to have some stuff that I can uh, enjoy in my free time and then maybe do a video on them. But yeah, uh, maybe I'll do a reaction to it. We'll see, we'll see. But damn, these two episodes have been very heavy for me and for Edward. Jesus. I mean, I genuinely did not expect this series to be this dark. And after the few as first episodes, I saw and maybe expected some darkness, but wow, like these last two episodes have been freaking crazy. But okay, I actually don't really have too much to say about this episode because the most interesting things I feel like uh, were just the consequence of the last episode, those are the things that were the most interesting to me in this episode. Um, I guess the fucking murder psychopath who was dressing as a woman to kill other women. And I can't believe I called that out, but I guess I did. Um, and him slicing Edward's uh, shoulder. It's like he's already lost his one arm. It's incredibly fucked up to uh, even go for his other arm. Like, if I was Edward, the fact that I've lost one of my arms, even though I've gotten a metal arm, it would just fuck me in the head that I almost lost my second arm, uh, you know? So that's a little fucked up. And seeing him uh, be scared for his life, it, it's really, it's really fucked up. Like, I love this series. I freaking love it much more than I even thought that I would enjoy it and love it, but it's so fucked up. Cartoons are not like this by and large, and especially not nowadays. Like, what the hell? I wish there were more cartoons like this. Like, this is amazing. But I do kind of want to watch uh, Brotherhood at some point just to compare how much more toned down and uh, uh, sterile, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, that series is going to be, because it was made in the early 2010s. And I feel like in the early 2000s, cartoons were freer to do more, more fucked up shit like this and be more gruesome and dark and edgy, while in the early 2000s, uh, early 2010s, they were still very action heavy, but they definitely toned down the edginess, I feel like, and became more family-friendly, and I don't like that. I wish cartoons kept being like this. But yeah, in terms of ratings, we gave the last episode a 10 out of 10, but I don't feel like this episode really lives up to that. Uh, at best, I would say it's maybe like a 9.2, not, not 9.2, uh, 8.2 out of 10. Because there was still some fucked up shit in this episode, but again, it's just mostly the consequences of the last episode that were making me feel like that except the shoulder that that was uh, that was pretty fucked up but yeah um i do need a little bit of a breather episode so i hope the next episode is going to be like that but who knows i don't know
we still have to do one more video with two more episodes so yeah i guess let's finish this one up so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did uh leave a like subscribe also check out the description to my twitter if you want to follow me there and to my wordpad where i post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel i'm also a writer and if you have to enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!